Uncle John's Pancake House is closing its doors, but it is not for good because the owner says that they're just relocating. We had our Trent Crosey stop by the restaurant because he had to check it out. Now, Trent, the public has until the end of March for what? Well, Tatiana, talking with the owner of Sale to Bully, he was firm in saying this move is not about the offer, but the community. The legacy of Uncle John's will continue and even expand. First, there was fear for the beloved Uncle John's Pancake House. I didn't know they were moving. We were afraid they were going to close, just potentially shutting down, because I was afraid that that would be the case. Then there were rumors among Uncle John's own staff. What's actually going on with the nearly 60-year-old restaurant? I knew there was talks of it. I didn't know very many details. There's been rumors before. Rumors went around like a couple months ago, but we just found out. And then Saturday, Uncle John's owner of 11 years sailed to Bailey, held a staff meeting to put those rumors to bed by explaining how he will be selling the building so the car wash next door can expand. Yes, I mean, we, we, we do have enough car washes, but once again, the decision wasn't based on what they, their needs is based on our needs. It's a decision he didn't make quickly, having mulled it over for a year. And to Bailey made sure to set the record straight, letting his staff know they'd all still be together after the sale. That's 100% support. I, had, I haven't had one employee says no. He said they're all excited about it. And I'm glad that we're able to relocate and still keep the same employees and the same vibe. It's going to be way better. We'll have heating in the winter and it won't be 900 degrees in the summer. Um, and we all are pretty much staying. To Bailey says his relocation plans will allow him to expand and update restaurant amenities. Overall, it will truly be what's best for his work family, real family, and community. I've been coming here since I was a kid. I mean, I remember the silver dollar pancakes. I remember when they would come to your table with like a lazy Susan full of different syrups. There's the nostalgia about the building. It's been here 60 years. The nostalgia on the interior has been here. It hasn't, it not, has nothing to do with the money. I wanted to keep Uncle John's in Toledo for years to come and maybe my son will take over and, and run it at some point. I don't think it's going to be the most difficult thing in the world because our staff really is basically a family. I couldn't imagine living without any one of them in my life. To Bailey says he cannot disclose the deal until it's finalized and plans to stay at the Secor Road location until March 31st. Reporting live in studio, Trent Croce, WTOL 11.